the finals just had a brand new update 3.7 with that are some brand new cosmetics as well as some potential updates with merch we also got to look at what might be the next community event leak and some additional things with world tour as well as a whole bunch more what's up world it's utopia back in for another video today we're checking out all things the finals as always let's get right into the patch notes we do of course have the opening statement however this time it is from dusty as oscar is currently on vacation dusty does also point to that it's summer vacation season here at the finals and this week's update will only add to the store they're also going to make a few tweaks to the security system as such there is no download deployed on your end so this is completely server side hotfix and not a client side download or hotfix now they do also mention this over on on the patch notes side of things where they do mention that the embark office is officially in vacation mode again if you didn't know places like france and sweden and parts of europe do have a mandatory four to six week leave a lot of them take it in august apparently and so this is kind of like their august vacation happening right now although they do say here that next week you can expect an actual patch with an update they go over here with the new discs on skins which is showcased with the weekly update that also includes an entire full set outfit as well and additionally some Angimo weapon skins. They also have one last notable mention here with the opening and essentially closing statement here. But they said last week they added a whole new set of rules to World Tour. And they would love to gather some feedback there on those changes if you have played the new cash out rules. So they have included a survey here for World Tour Update 3.6. Dusty also does mention this on the Discord side of things. So if you want to get the forum there, or I'll also include the link to the forum. But you can also click on the patch note side of things here where it says in this survey under bold. That will include a link to the survey as well. It's essentially just a Google Doc survey there and it's a few questions. At this point, I don't think there's any compensation tied to it but if you're wanting to see some change with the world tours you should definitely consider filling it out that does cover for the update as far as 3.7 goes although we do have a reward popping up inside the finals currently we had a post here asking if they missed an event or if there's a way to unlock this in the game currently right now there is an easel t reality check skin now this is a grenade skin however currently there is no way to unlock this and this wasn't actually any of the previous community events so this might have slipped through the cracks with the newest hotfix here there's been a lot of comments on this if this is for a future event and more than likely it is so again this potentially was pushed out a little bit too early on accident that is the community event leak that we have going on right now it looks like this might be the new skin tied to that this season seems to be tied to all the sponsors which is a bit more spontaneous and nothing concrete like what we saw with last season being tied to that one outfit I hope we do get more of those i think it gives a little bit more incentive there to kind of complete the set but overall it is good to change it up for a season or two so i'm glad they are doing the different sponsors here although it does seem like people don't want it to be a grenade and they were hoping for something more maybe there's some additional rewards tied to this or at least the next community event hopefully that is happening with 3.8 i will update you guys and let you guys know if anything concrete comes out or if we find out what this was for now we have had some developer updates even with oscar being absent this last week so as usual we do have a few here from rob this first one looks like like it might be some merch teasing now as always rob does some leak stuff here and some teasing back and forth with dusty but he does showcase off the diss on at least what it looks like merch again it's just a diss on logo slapped on a black t-shirt but overall pretty decent i'm glad we're finally getting some updates with merch as well as just overall with that in general dusty asks here this isn't even in the first batch so when was this taken so it looks like it's very recent to everything and definitely again we're probably going to be getting some merch soon i would assume as dusty said here it's not in the first batch so when are we going to see the other batches or when are we going to see that first batch roll around? We'll have to wait and see on that. I will let you guys know as soon as we have any merch updates, but that is for that right now. Although Rob does give one last mentionable here saying season four will be hot. He shows off another logo here. Again, we'll have to wait and see on all that stuff. I'll let you guys know, maybe potentially with season four. Also, there is some updates with the Easter egg stuff. If you guys don't remember, Rob did tease a long time ago that the Dolphin Charm would be showcased off in version 3.8 of the updates. We're on 3.7 right now, so it looks like we're going to be getting that Dolphin Charm sooner than later. At least it should appear with 3.8. We'll have to see if that actually does come to fruition. Super exciting there, and we'll see what the updates do bring us, especially for those development updates on the Easter egg side of things. Rob also does mentioned that there is some IRL little easter eggs they're very tiny but there's some pretty cool puzzles that actually do give a little bit of a notion to the finals apparently they could still be around and these are the locations that they could be located in this also might be a teaser where we might see future maps or it just could coincide with that it seems pretty dynamic with the amount of locations they have used for this 
I haven't seen any updates on this, but apparently they're just tiny little puzzles, nothing too crazy. But yeah, they're located in all these different regions here, so if you have found anything, do let us know. Jumping back quickly to the whole vacation stuff, it does seem like Dusty has been pointing out that a lot of people are on vacation from the studio. Now this one is a little bit of a joke here, but someone said, how come the finals doesn't have a map editor? Or Dusty does say here, he's on vacation. Obviously a little bit of a joke there, but the map editor, a person that does help make the maps, they are also on vacation. As they do also mention here, people in Sweden take four to six weeks in a row in the summer, usually during the August time. This is a big European tradition, and it seems like a healthy workflow overall. Kind of wish this was adapted in North America, not to get too political, but that is kind of crazy that we don't have that here. Still, again, that's why I might be seeing the lackluster updates. Although in a reply here, somebody asks, aren't you all on vacation? Where Dusty says, no, just so many people are. There's no such thing as everyone on vacation for a live game, which definitely makes sense there. So it's just a good portion of the Embark Studio that is on vacation. That's why we kind of had the lackluster updates for the past few weeks as well as now. Again, it seems like things will start to kick into gear once we get to season four. Hopefully we do start getting more of a healthy stream of things and hopefully this break really does help the development for this game. Season three has already had its issues back and forth, so I do think it's gonna help overall. We'll have to see how it plays out. And if there is any more season four updates, I will be sure to let you guys know. We did have some last minute mentionables here. This first one being that if you do go to the leaderboard page and you're actually in the top 10K, you'll get some confetti. Pretty cool little fun notion there if you are in the top 10K on the leaderboards. Seems fairly easy to do as long as you play the game quite consistently. But yeah, just something fun and extra. If you wanted to check out the leaderboards, I'll leave a link to it down below. Someone also mentioned here in this thread, do you realize how huge the old tournament lobby was? I do miss that huge tournament lobby, although people did say the queue times were a little bit long. I will say in my region, they weren't long at all. In fact, they were quite quick. However, that has to apply to everybody, so I completely understand them changing that. And that kind of has to coincide with all the regions there. As someone mentioned here, it was cool, but the queue times for them took forever, and now they get queues so much faster. Again, the selfish side of me wishes we had those big tournaments again because I had really fast queue times, but I completely understand making it a standard across the entire game and for other regions that do have slower queue times. Still, I do hope one day if the game picks up in player count quite significantly, I hope they do maybe bring it back for like a limited time mode. Would be kind of cool to see again those big tournaments. So we did have that season three drip submissions. I did mention this in the last video and actually we have an update there with that. The submissions are still running and they picked the top 10 varied and colorful outfits. You can still go vote on those until August 1st at 10 a.m. CST. But there is some really cool mentionable there. So I did ask you guys if you were going to submit yours to also show me yours on the finals runway that I have over on my Discord. We have someone on my Discord by the name of Froglet who showcased their outfit that they were going to put into the competition. They said here they wouldn't have known about the competition if it wasn't for me. So I thought that was really cool here that they submitted this in there. But not only that, they actually made it into the top 10 running. And they are currently number 3. They've been bouncing between number 3 and number two with the submissions i just think that's super cool there that i was able to get the word out and them to also be in the top 10 selected just thought i would feature that because i think it's overall really cool and i really did enjoy their outfit there's a few more here that i'll showcase very quickly that some others did showcase one here kind of reminiscent of the number one spot here like the dark knight we also had specs submit both his male and female version of a bunny outfit Again, some really cool showcases there. If you want to post anything or show off your outfit or cosmetics there, I, again, do have a Discord, and there is a finals runway section where you can submit that and just kind of show off your drip stuff if you don't want to do it over on the regular Discord. And again, if you want to go vote on the competition, it is still running until August 1st at 10 a.m. Overall, that's about cover for today's video. If you like, like, and subscribe, and until the next one. Deuce!